Before we get started, would you do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and share it. That way it will get more views and it'll get more exposure and I really, really would help me out. Thanks a lot. Hey, I'm so excited because I just had wash day today and I made a DIY uh, banana avocado butter mask. Uh, I, most of what I did in my hair today is DIY but the focus today is on the uh, the mask that I made and this is it right here this is what's remaining of it and this is what it looks like it's been in the refrigerator so it's, it's kind of uh, it's solidified a bit but it'll warm right up of course uh, when I put it on you know use it again and put it on my hands and rub it into my hair Pause the video at any time for further reading of the slides. All right, let's get it started. I have uh, the recipe broken down in three parts and I'll be given the description of each one of the items that will go inside the recipe. Bananas makes the hair stronger, softens it, protects elasticity, and relieves dry, itchy scalp. The fresh avocado is full of healthy fats and it makes the hair silky and smooth. Unsalted, unrefined butter is excellent for the hair and can substitute for conditioners. Honey bonds with water molecules, adding moisture to the hair strands. Just like with honey, vegetable glycerin is also a humectic, meaning it can actually pull in moisture from the air, keeping hair hydrated and healthy. Optifin Plus is a natural preservative. Citric acid is also a natural preservative. Lavender essential oil has antimicrobial properties, which helps prevent bacteria and fungi from growing. Rosemary essential oil promotes nerve growth and improves circulation. Peppermint essential oil improves blood flow to the hair follicles and increase circulation. Group one items were items that were placed in the blender. Group two items are items that need to be melted together. Coconut oil for the scalp moisturizes and removes buildup around the hair follicles to jumpstart hair growth. Castor oil is considered one of the finest natural emollients. It moisturizes and softens hair and skin. Akuba butter can prevent hair damage from free radicals and it improves the shine and elasticity. Muramura butter softens, calms, and locks in moisture and it also keeps the hair shiny and healthy. The BTMS 225 conditioning is great for keeping water and oil ingredients from separating. Grab your blender for the group one items. I use a Vitamix, but you can use whatever you have. Gently melt all of your group two items together. Transfer group one items into a mixing bowl. Slowly add the melted group two items into the bowl while using a mixer. Combine all the ingredients until it looks stiff and soft. Use a spatula to scoop the mask into a container with a lid. This is done to store the portion you don't need to use immediately. The leftover mask can be used for your next shampoo. Stored in a refrigerator is best. This recipe is enough for one to three treatments, depending on how long and thick your hair is. But if you don't want to store your batch, just go ahead and cut it in half. My hair is freshly washed and now I've applied the conditioner and began to detangle. What you're seeing here is already detangled, but I just wanted to show you how smooth it's going. What's left in the bowl is what you use as a deep conditioner on your hair. Detangle your hair in several sections after the mask has been thoroughly applied to the scalp and the full length of your hair. Massage it into the scalp. Keep the hair in sections separated by bantu knots, fat twists, or fat plaits, if you like. As you can see, my leatherwood brush is gliding through my hair very well, 
well, I call it gliding anyway, because it usually hurts uh, to detangle my hair, but the process now is just seamless. When I tell you this DIY conditioner has done for me, unlike any other conditioner that I can recall that I've purchased, I mean, it's amazing. And I just really hope that you all try it. This portion here is nothing, it's not damaged. What happened was uh, several months ago, I had crochet braids and I accidentally cut off my own hair. So, I mean, I've been like real butt hurt ever since that happened. And uh, when it gets to an, uh, a longer length, then I'll probably make it even, but not right now. <laughs> My crown is an area that tends to struggle with retaining length, uh, grows a little bit slower. So now I'm paying more particular attention to it and to my temples. And I notice it's all filling in very well since I have been giving it a lot more TLC and really paying attention to the products I apply in my hair and what I eat and what I drink. I really take my time on each section of my hair. It's very beneficial to make sure that all the product is evenly distributed throughout each of the strand. And so it takes a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. I hardly lose any hair now. Now that I've detangled my hair and properly distributed all the product, I'll place a plastic cap over my hair and then a satin scarf over it, or in this case, I'm using a satin bag. I'll cover it with a heating cap and sit under the blow dryer or do whatever I like. The mask should remain covered for at least 30 minutes to one hour or even longer. In this case, I left it on for about four and a half hours. You can also sleep with it on overnight and your hair will come out magnificent. I'm telling you, it was so, so soft. I was so amazed. This mask can be used as a pre-poo or as a deep conditioner. You can gently wash it out or rinse well with warm water and then style as usual. If you use it as a pre-poo, you can actually use it on dry hair. You don't have to wet it at all. This time I use it as a deep conditioner. Now I've rinsed out the conditioner with warm water, not too hot. And I put nothing on it because I wanted you to see on camera. This is how easy it is to comb, even though I have no leave-in conditioner, nothing. Um, so, but my hair doesn't clump up anymore. It's, uh, it's my hair. <laughs> it just afros out and it's starting to dry too and shrink up. But, um, uh, I wanted to show you that it's still very easy to comb it. Um, and you know, now I can tell it's thick. <laughs> As you can see, the comb is, uh, struggling a little bit because it was starting to dry. But I love the results of this here mask.
Now it is time for my styling products and everything I'm using is DIY. One of them is a leave-in conditioner and the other one is a tea that I use to spritz. And um, I'll make future videos on those once I get the recipe the way I like it. And I'm just showing you that my hair with nothing on it is very, very manageable. So I'm loving what, what I've done today. So it worked out great. That was my first time using that mask. Uh, I read about it and did some studying and you know put some things together, a recipe that I think that would suit my hair needs. I have four type hair. So, um, so I know, I feel like it would at least take care of my four type hair. Hopefully it'll take care of my daughters as well and my other granddaughters, but their numbers start going into threes and twos. Uh, so later on I'll develop something or work on something for them specifically for their hair type. But for mine, if you have four type hair, this might be something you might be interested in trying to mimic yourself. Um, I put preservatives in mine. You don't have to do it when you make yours. Um, I just did that because I have it and I wanted to see how long the batch would last. Now I'm still storing it in a refrigerator because I'm not 100% confident in the preservatives that I'm using yet in the ratio that I put in ingredients and the whole menu of items that I put in. These are guesstimations. I just kind of rough, rough measured it and this is my first batch, but I'm very happy with the results of it. And uh, I also made, like I said, the other styling products on here are DIY. I'll make a future video very soon on those. Um, but I need to um, make sure I get my ingredients and the recipe down where it is uh, replicable for the rest of you. So, but these are my twists that I put in and it's a protective style. I'll be wearing some uh, wigs or something if I feel like it. Uh, other than that, you know, mostly we're quarantining, so I'm really not going too many places. Thank you for stopping by. See you at the next video. Y'all stay blessed and take care of yourselves.